Use Hockey Poxy, it's all you need to get. Use Hockey Poxy, now you're all set. My name is Tom Berryhill. I work for Whitaker Marine here in Fort Pierce, Florida. Uh, we have the boat here at Harbor Town Marina, which we've taken this 80 foot Hatteras. And because they had blisters on the bottom, we have had someone come in and gel peel the bottom and brought it down to raw fiberglass. Uh, as part of prep work to getting the boat ready for the hawk epoxy coating, what we've done here is when the peeler comes in and does its job, it leaves a ridge behind from cutting into the fiberglass. So what we've done is we've taken the hawk epoxy and added cavasil and micro balloon to it to make it a sandable, easy to sand putty. And when we trowel it on, to fill in that gap and help feather in so you have a nice even transition into the hull. So now we're getting ready to do is coat from the tape line and all our raw fiberglass and seal it with two coats of Hawk Epoxy uh, to help the, uh, to make it more watertight. The hull must be dried to ensure the Hawk Epoxy adheres to the hull properly. A moisture meter is used to verify that the hull moisture is under 15%. Before applying the Hawk Epoxy, the hull is wiped down with clean rags and acetone. This removes any residue and contaminants that may be left behind from blasting the hull. The Hawk Epoxy system has pumps for the resin and catalyst that measure precisely the proper ratio of resin to catalyst. Equal pumps of resin to catalyst will result in the perfect mix every time. Prime the pumps first to ensure no air is in the pumps. Mix the resin and catalyst for 1 to 2 minutes being sure that all materials from the sides and bottoms of the mixing container are thoroughly mixed in. If you're not using the Hawk pumps, follow all proper mixing ratios in the directions on the back of the Hawk epoxy resin can. Only mix enough epoxy to use up in 5-10 to 10 minutes to ensure a working viscosity. The mixed Hawk epoxy is applied by rolling it onto the boat hull in a thin coat, with a second person coming in behind the roller with a brush to smooth out any imperfections and trim the Hawk epoxy into the edges and hard to reach areas the roller could not cover. Use a lint-free, non-wicking roller so no roller hairs get left in the epoxy, which could compromise the integrity of the seal. When the first coat of Hawk epoxy is dry to the point that the surface is tacky to the touch, but no moist epoxy sticks to the finger, it is time to apply the second coat. After the second coat of Hawk epoxy has been applied and fully cured, Wash the surface with soap and water, and rough the surface with sandpaper before applying the rest of the bottom system. For primer and extra blister protection, two coats of Seahawks Paints Tough Stuff Epoxy Primer were applied. To finish the bottom system, the boat had two coats of Seahawk Paints BioCop TF Dual Biocide Anti-Fouling applied to keep the hull free from any organic slime and barnacle growth to ensure the boat runs optimally, getting the most economical fuel consumption possible and higher attainable speeds. Use Hawk Epoxy, it's all you need to get. Use Hawk Epoxy, now you're all set.